Okay, welcome to part two of rebuilding my 350 QX. I apologize if the video is shaky. I'm using my GoPro over here. And as you can see, I just took off the top right here. Right here, there's the broken top. It's right there. So, um, so that's that. And you can see the inside, which is pretty tight. They managed to uh, cram all the uh, the motor connections, the ESCs, all that good stuff. And I'm assuming this one right here is the um, GPS module. I could be wrong. I'm not an expert, but it's pretty tight over there. I also decided to yank one of the uh, the motors here because um, I thought it was giving me some. Uh, some notchiness so I decided to yank it and also I wanted to see how hard or easy it is to take a motor off just in case and um, it's actually not that easy um, right here these are the wires the connecting it's pretty simple red blue and black and um, you just have to make sure that you pull it uh, nice and slow and also these add some uh, heat um, not heat sink but uh, I forgot what it's called but ba basically has some heat wraps in it so all you need to do is just don't use any blade I just use my fingers to uh, basically kind of uh, cut through it and easily pulled all the connections uh, off so um, and this motor is snugly um, screwed in there with a nice uh, thick allen, uh, allen screw so not hard but not too easy so as I promised I wanted to show you guys the inside of the um, of my um, 350QX and as you can see it's pretty cramming there and if you're gonna take the body out and whatnot it's not gonna be an easy uh, reassembly they have some uh, they have some uh, plastic glue in there and all that good stuff one of the trickiest part of this uh, rebuild is also dismantling the uh, compass one of my skids broke so I have to dismantle this compass from it so just be careful if you're gonna do this to not yank this puppy because you can see how small those screws are and if you yank them it's going to be game over and you can see how tiny those wirings are and they're intertwined within this skid and also inside the QX removing the tip basically where the connection is of this it's a nice and snug in there so just take your time don't rush it because you could do a lot of damage in that little little space and I was really um, extra careful because uh, I don't want to damage this and then have to purchase a compass so um, I want to do my due diligence and be careful and uh, just took my time like doing surgery <laughs> 